This Toyota is similar to the one that was stolen with a key fob just like this. The owner says he doesn't know how someone took it. Don't need to have a key. Just push the button on the ignition and it starts and you're good to go. Unfortunately for Gabe Wahab, it was too easy for a car thief. Wahab parked along Prospect before attending a wedding at the War Memorial with his wife. When they came back, their burgundy SUV was missing. Brandon said, I, I know this is where I left my car, but just no trace of it, completely gone. He says it was locked and had the key fob on him and was more than 250 feet away. We're going to test out the limitations of the key fob on this Toyota. I'm going to leave it outside the vehicle. Now when I go back to the car, put my foot on the brake and push the button, it won't start. Trying again with it just outside the car, still won't turn on. In order to have proper communications, you got to be in the vehicle with this key. Alarmtronics owner Randy Torgrid specializes in vehicle security and says it would be no easy task to steal the SUV. It's nearly impossible to code it unless you take the vehicle into a dealership, make an additional key, or have it set where you can put a remote start on it. Wahab is worried there's a high-tech device thieves could be using. They reprogram your car to use a different fob, and then they program that fob on the spot. Torgrid has advice for all car owners. Keep track of their keys to know how many keys to make sure that nobody can make a key for their vehicle. Milwaukee police say they are investigating. There was no broken glass at the scene. The SUV hasn't been recovered. In Milwaukee, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News. Now experts say most keyless entry cars will continue to run even if the key fob is out of the range, but once turned off, they can't be restarted.